to poop. Where there's smoke, they pinch back. Investigate this bizarre mutated species. Haven't we been here before? Uh, brains. brains? Healthy green glow? Those human fools! Clearly, they've genetically altered these pathetic gas bags and turned them into radioactive, exploding zombie cows! Show them the folly of their mad science! Green man! We're under attack! Spike up, whoever's there! You want there. a piece of me? Sure! <laughs> A town's alpha male? Where did he come from? Never mind that! You must stop him before he publicly reveals your existence. Go to this town hall and take the alpha male's place to address the pea-brained masses? No, I could crochet a portrait of President Huffman. I bet he'd be tickled pink by that. A restricted area. Crypto, the charming security of this town hall won't let you in without a jacket. Use Hollow Bob to keep standards up, will you? already in progress. But before we deal with these pitchfork connoisseurs, we need to find the alpha man. I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm being all I can be. Look! This yam has a face. Miss Vander... Mrs. Vander... Huh? Vander... Mrs. Vander... Also big. Vander Platt? Mrs. Va Miss Big. Chicken. Oh, so big. Vander Platt. Vander Platt. Mrs. Vander Platt. 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 To now hold on to your hats, kids. Next stop, a little something I like to call Artichoke Heaven. What the fuck are you looking at? Why are you running? Why are you running? Keep it together, man. Keep it together. Evildoers are everywhere. It's him! The mayor! Now use Hypnoblast to distract the lackeys surrounding him. How the hell 
am I supposed to run in these shoes? Shiny, shiny shoes. Where is the police commissioner? He was assigned to protect me. Move along. Nothing to see here. Boy, I sure like saying that. Not anymore. We have an emergency. Potato fish are living inside people's brains, causing them to stare mindlessly at the TV. Do you hear? People are wasting away in front of the TV. There's no law against that. What is it? Oh. Time to take the stage. Break a leg, Mayor Crypto. Assure them that everything is normal. No monkey business. That is, only monkey business as usual. The success of our mission depends on it. Now hurry, Crypto. The gathering will start soon. Beat that, Charles Atlas. Better get my best clothes on to go into town. Oh yeah, I ain't got no best clothes. I feel a sudden irresistible urge to wear pants and change my name to Ellie Mae. Every one of the dang cows, then it'll look like it stuck some sort of device up the poor thing's... Crap, crap, and after all that, I didn't even get to see Miss Rockwell. She just walked right on by with her... Crops laid out flat in circles like a Fourth of July pinwheel. I told Edgar... There goes our savings, no new shoes for the twins, and I guess Darlene's just gonna have to live another year with that overbite. Greetings, fellow human agricultural engineers. There is nothing going on here. Everything is normal. Carry on with your pathetic human lives. That is all. Now, wait just a cotton-picking minute. Mr. Mayor, I've lived in this town all my life, and I voted for you twice in the last election. Now, I'm entitled to a god darn answer. If they ain't nothing going on here, how come all my cows is glowing like lightning bugs? What you say to that, whippersnapper? I don't know why, but it isn't from the death ray of a flying saucer, I can tell you that. You want to know what's been going on around here? I'll tell you what's been going on around here. Communism, that's what. As a matter of fact, this is a particularly good time of year for amateur astronomers. Venus is generally visible in the evening, and of course we have the uh, Leonid Media Shower coming up in a few weeks. Listen, you've been a great audience. Don't forget to tip the veal and try the waitresses. And if you like what you heard, throw me a bone and vote for me next election day. Early and often. Now wait just a second. How in the world does any of that explain the destruction at the fair? Read my lips. I will not rest until we find the perpetrators of the fairground carnage and uh, bring him to justice. Well, now, hold on. How come nobody in Santa Modeste has been seeing anything like this?
Look, cow spot methane, and methane is flammable. We've got more cows than Santa Modesta. You do the math. So, as you can see, there's nothing to trouble your puny human brains about. The mayor's right. This was all just a random series of suspiciously coincidental yet easily rationalized events. Yeah, that's right. Give it up. Let's hear it for me. Suckers. Good night and uh, have a pleasure tomorrow. What a bunch of losers. Minds like mud. This planet is easy pickings. Crypto! Did you hear what that human said during your speech? Must have missed it. Busy digging on the love. Focus! There's another human hive nearby. Santa Modesta, he called it. You must discover its location and make your way there. We've got more humans to control. Doesn't the sight of it just fill you kids with awe? <laughs> Styrofoam's looking pretty good right about now. That can only mean one thing. We've been invaded by a giant gorilla. Besides, what's a few cases of genetic mutation? Trust me on this, Mr. Z. Scum Soda is going to be huge. We'll launch on schedule and Scum Labs will make billions. These little incidents are not a problem! Gentlemen, we have a problem. Gosh, that was some storm. The storm didn't do this. It was a renegade mutant yam. How do you figure? The monster is disguised as a normal citizen. If we simply kill all the local people that we can find, we're sure to run into the evil monster eventually. It's just logical. Come on! This year's potluck first prize goes to Mrs. Vanderplatz for her delicious squished banana maple muffins. Come on! Now remember, we jump Apple Gumby the second he gets off the stage. Great googly moogly, first prize! Did she just say googly moogly? Back to work, Stuart. Testicles. That is all. Wait. Hold on. Wait. What? Let's rock.
G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Well, hello. I'll have sashimi and the lady will have the broccoli chicken. Yes. I'm hungry, damn it. Hey, what the? Hey, Don King. Nice haircut. When did we enlist? Hey, watch it. Hustle. I wish these stars looked more realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's tail time. Guess is back on Toon Disney. This for the 60s had run and hide. Of course, I'd have sideburns and bell bottoms. When they say olive drab, they mean drab. Yeah, this place has all the warmth of a Dick Clark special. Who's it? Uncle Herman, you promised you went off the sauce. How can I talk to you when you're like this? Why am I in the mood to mercilessly beat an L.A. motorist? The only way I can keep you alive is if you're not here when it gets out. When what gets out? Who posted my nudes on Twitter? Watch it, Shorty. Friends. Now I have you. You will never survive the Deaky Brothers. Gecko stew anyone. Biden. Damn right. Fucking prick. Well, it worked for Douglas Fairbanks. In the quaintest corner of Middle Earth, embark on an epic journey unlike any you've experienced before. This winter, Wes Anderson presents a heartwarming and quirky adaptation of a beloved classic, The Whimsical Fellowship. Meet Frodo Baggins, an unassuming hobbit, chosen for an extraordinary task. Guided by the enigmatic wizard Gandalf, Frodo embarks on a captivating journey with a colorful crew. Follow these heroes as they traverse idyllic countrysides and enchanted forests, bound together by a mission to save their world from looming darkness. Our quest is clear. We must destroy the One Ring, overcome the eccentricities of our newfound fellowship, and perhaps learn the true meaning of friendship along the way. For this adventure will require a walking stick, antique maps, breakfast, the Ring of Power, a pipe, a sword, and second breakfast. Featuring an illustrious cast of Middle-earth's most distinctive inhabitants. Starring Timothy Chalamet, Bill Murray, Tilda Swinton, Edward Norton, Leia Saidu, Benicio Del Toro, Adrian Brody, Bob Balaban, Jeff Goldblum, Ben Stiller, Christoph Waltz, Willem Dafoe, and Owen Wilson. Wow. The Whimsical Fellowship is a refreshingly unique interpretation of Tolkien's timeless tale. Journey into theaters this summer, and remember, not all those who wander are lost. Am I so out of time? Guess is back on Toon Disney. Am I so out of touch?
now back to G.I. Joe. must be 10, 12 hours old. Whatever happened here must have happened either last night or early this morning. Sure no traffic accident, was it? Uh -huh. This wasn't caved in, it was caved out. Say, so, yeah, there's something over here you ought to take a look at. I don't know whether there's anything important or not, but... Well, no cat ever lived, leave a print like that. Maybe something was set down there. Bag or can or something like that. Hi, Rich. Hi. How are the kids? Hi. Tough break for us. Yeah. Look, they don't need us here right now. Let's get out of Graham Johnson's store and see if he knows something. and this Ellenson family, so come off it. Everything seems to indicate a homicidal maniac. I mean, there's no money stolen, violent wreckage, just sugar taken. I want every available man scouting the desert. If our two planes aren't enough to cover areas the cars can't reach, well, I'll ask permission from the chief to hire a couple of more. Captain Edwards, this is Robert Graham from the FBI office in Alamogordo. Oh, how are you? Now, Captain, if it's all right with you, I'd like to send this or a copy of it to our bureau in Washington. You know, they just might be able to identify it, or at least prove that it's nothing. Well, does this mean that somebody's identified it? I don't know. Great. Pardon me, sir. 
Medford. Huh? Are you Dr. Medford? Mm, yes, yes, yes. No need to shout. Oh, you're the people, of course. Mm. Can I help? No, thank you. I think I can manage it. How do you do? Well, then you must be Mr. Robert Graham. Yes, ma'am. How do you do? Hello there. We've got a car waiting. We can take you to a hotel. Oh, yeah. She's the kind that takes care of sick people. I think I'll get a fever real quick. Have you identified it? The medical officer's report on Mr. Johnson suggests we were certainly wrong to even consider this business might be a hoax. Read Look, we're growing up. There's no need to play footsie with us. As a matter of fact, we... Re that acid we got? Acid? Formic, Doctor. Thank you. Phosphorus. We could lay it all over that mound with bazookas. That'll keep the surface area hot, all right. Mm -hmm. What happens after that? We then drop cyanide gas into the opening and kill them. How can you be sure you get all of them? We go into the nest and find out. Don't forget to tap me when you get that wire, General, huh? Now, don't rush me. I'm doing this by the book. <laughs> with you and Ben. Oh, no, you're not. Unless these queens are located and destroyed before they've established thriving colonies and can produce, heaven alone knows how many more queen ants, man, as the dominant species of life on Earth, will probably be extinct. Hey, the least you could do after spoiling my day off is tell me how come a government cop is so interested in this deal. He's got a sweet tooth. <laughs> Are you there? Yes, we're here. Smitty, they're alive. <laughs> Jerry, listen to me. Stay where you are. We're going to get you out of there, but don't move. Condition red. Drain 267 is a target area. <laughs>
chamber. Find out if any new queens have hatched out. Yes, this is the egg chamber. The same as we found in New Mexico. Okay, burn them out. Pat, if these monsters got started as a result of the first atomic bomb in 1945, what about all the others that have been exploded since then? What we'll eventually find in that new world, nobody can predict. <laughs> You can jump, monkey. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. All right, believe in yourself. That's that's what you gotta do. Just don't jump. No, don't jump down in the pit. Jump over there. Don't pit jump, monkey. No, don't jump. I mean, I mean jump. <laughs> We have a plan here. Go, go, go! Hey, hold up, dude! say it's all over for that big a that machine is the best money can buy he's got no chance Looks like a scene.
Oh shit. Here we go again. Could whoever stole the compass <gasps> last month? Get out the way! <clears throat> Damn! What? Oh. oh! What you want, man? Oh. Uh. I don't need uh. Intruder is stealing the jetpack. All military personnel outside and fire at will. Take him out. Get the General Mills on the line. Oh, hell no! Uh. Far out. Have a nice trip, dude. Hey, wait a Ah, uh, was it too much to ask to get a lift in the town? Excuse me, uh, I'm doing a survey. I wonder whether I could ask you a few questions. Yeah, that's fine. Great. Um, if you approached in the street by a robber, do you think you'd be able to defend yourself? No. Good. Give me your money. Oh! E.I. Joe will return after these messages. First, they're sour. Sour, sour. Then they're sweet. Sour, sweet, gone. Looks like you're in the finals. Ma'am, for the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. You're the defending ladies' pool champion? Yes, I am. Kid, what do you call a black knight on a charging horse? What, Sue? A nightmare. Uh -huh. Help, kid! <laughs> Time for a powerful Cheerios breakfast. A balanced breakfast like this one. You got to go with Cheerios. Now available to own on video cassette. Know what time it is? It's time for a Caillou story. <laughs>
castle. That's it, Kalu. You are grounded, grounded, grounded. I saw a wheel stealer. I am a wheel stealer. Ha ha wheel, wheel. We are currently receiving reports of contact with an unknown organism. This organism, which is not yet fully understood, is reported as purple in color, in possession of a tail, tall, bipedal, emotive, hungry tall. If you encounter this unknown organism, do not interact with the unknown organism. Do not compliment the unknown organism. Do not agree to hold hands with the unknown organism. Do not under any circumstances agree to propagate or continue the species with the unknown organism. the ruler of the evil horde. You have an objection? She is the leader of the Great Rebellion. I am she -Ra! Join them right here each weekday as she -Ra and her friends strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Hordak. <laughs> she -Ra, Princess of Power, is here. Now every weekday afternoon at 5 on The Entertainer TV 41. Now, back to G.I. Joe. we're too late. You're absolutely right, Doctor. Take a good look at my masterpiece. Do you have any idea what you have done? Look! Look at it! It's beginning! Go! 
get out of here. That's what. What have we done? Now hear this, Borg! You are mine! Dragon. And you will do as I command! <laughs> Destroy, Destroy that, that pesky head! Monkey? <gasps> Any sign of monkey? Not yet. Just a flying turtle. And a fairy. My little ponies. And a tree. Monkey! Just a flying turtle. And a fairy. Hey! Listen! Sonic the Hedgehog! Don't worry, buddy. You're doing fine. I won't let you blow. This. <laughs> What kind of place is this? Uh oh? Monkey! <laughs> Hang on! Go and kill! This won't do any good. It's the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. This is the best beat I've ever had. <laughs> Welcome to Air Plankton. Please put your seat backs and tray tables up as we're now approaching our final destination.
Bye. You stupid idiot! Dead! You idiot! You know what dead is? Are you okay, Or? Oh, 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 oh. Entiendo. Added a DSP, and then we. <laughs> hey, hey, what you say, nigga? Hey, wait a sec. You got down here awful quick. Almost as if you were just waiting to get rid of us. Are you guys like cake? What? Cake. You guys eat cake, right? Y you like cake? Yeah. I guess. Ah, gotcha. What? There's eggs in cake. Oh, I see what this is. We eat vegan cakes, you idiot. Vegan cakes? Yeah, with Greek yogurt. Aha, but where does the milk come from for the yogurt? Coconuts. It, it's coconut milk. Oh. Yeah. Idiot. Oh, what about- No, dude, stop, stop, just stop! We know what goes into our food, okay? It's all vegan. We just eat grass and vegan cake. Yeah, listen, Heartthrob, just accept that you're a monster and let's move on, okay? <laughs> what about birds? You eaten a baby bird before? Well, that doesn't count. Aha! Oh, no, no what? Come on. Who no, has no, eaten a baby different. bird now and then? <laughs> well, that's just nature. How am I supposed to know what's in front of my face when I'm grazing? Y yeah. Oh, what? You can't hear them chirping? Not with these ears. It's their fault for getting in the way. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. I've eaten birds, too. I don't, you, it's not like I'm proud of it. I'm with you guys. Fuck off. Oh, no. It's a pack of angry chimpanzees, and they're coming for you. Monkeys are back at it again. I fucking hate this. I fucking hate this. I can't stand this shit. <sighs>
Yeah.